Hello, this is Reza from Radacad, and in this video, I'm uh, teaching you how you can combine two tables together, append it in different ways like union, accept, intersect, what are their differences, and how you can do that in DAX. Let's check it out. Sometimes you want to combine tables together and mostly Power Query is the right choice for that. In Power Query, in the tra Transform Data tab, which is in Power Query Editor, you can use Append or Merge, two really powerful transformations, which you can use them to combine data from a couple of tables together. Uh, and I have a video about that. I strongly recommend go and check it out. However, sometimes you need to do this in DAX. Mm, for example, DAX give you the ability to combine these dynamically using like a virtual table strategy um, so that you get the DAX measure um, dynamic feature, but you can still combine these. So let's talk about how the combine works. I have two sample tables like table uh, one, uh, just one column with these values, table two, uh, one column with these values. Now I'm going to show you what are different types of uh, ways that we can combine together. Uh, so these are our sample data. Uh, I just showed this as a measure in this view so I can show it to you, represent it to you in an uh, easy way. So these are values in table one, values in table two. Now the first way that you can combine these together in one table is using union. Union will bring all the values from uh, all the rows actually from uh, the two tables. Uh, you see here A, B, C, D, E comes from the first table and then D, C, F from the second table. Uh, what you see here is that union doesn't remove duplicate. You see D and C is just duplicated here. So if you want this to remove duplicate, you also need to combine it with distinct or values as a function and wrap that union around that. Uh, that is how union works. And the way that you can write a union in your expression is just like this. Uh, only this part is where you, uh, you need union. All other things around it, as I mentioned, is just to represent it this way. Uh, you either use this inside a calculated table or use it inside a measure or other functions. And uh, not directly inside the measure, using inside other functions so that that function uh, return the value for measure because this is a function that returns a table. It's a tabular function. It's not a scalar function. You can't directly use it in a measure. Uh, another example of these functions is intersect. Intersect is just giving you the intersection of the two tables, only those records that available that are available in both. In this case, uh, you see that C and D are the two uh, rows. In my case, each row is like one column, but it can be like multiple columns as well. C and D are the values that are in both uh, rows that are in both tables. So the result is here. Now, if I said intersect two with one, this would have been D and C. Um, so the order that you pass the value to the intersect is only like this much important that it changes the order of items represented here. Otherwise, this order really doesn't matter. And you can see that this is used similar to the way that union is used. Uh, the outcome is different, however. It just shows the values that are available in both tables and anything that is available only in one of those tables won't be uh, in the result. Except is another instance for the except. Uh, it is important which table comes first, which table comes second. Uh, for union and intersect, it's not that much important. It is just merely changing the order of values in that table. But for except, it actually totally represents a different result. Uh, for example, if we say table one except table two, like what you see here in this expression, like what you see in this expression, table one except table one and two. That means everything that is that exists in table one, but not in table two. In this case, A does not exist there, so it comes there. B comes there. C exists there, so it won't be in the result. D exists there, it won't be in the result. And E. 
And we won't have anything from F because we said table A except table B and the result is AB. Now if I change the order and say table B except table A, that means anything from table B or table 2 in this case. Table 2 that doesn't exist in table 1. Uh, D and C exist there. Only F doesn't exist there, so that means this is the result of that. So in general, uh, these are the ways that you can append tables together. I strongly recommend uh, first checking out merge and append in Power Query because that should be your go-to stop if, uh, if this is uh, for data transformation. Only do it in DAX if you are doing a dynamic measure and you have no other choice other than creating that virtual table in the memory. Another thing to consider is that all of these things relies on the structure of the two tables that you pass as the input of these um, functions. Uh, the tables should be exactly the same in terms of the structure, and by that I mean the number of columns and the position of the columns. These are important. The data types can be converted to each other, but better to have those also uh, matching if you want a, a correct result set. So here you go. This is accept, intersect, and union that you can use to combine um, data from tables using DAX in Power BI. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.